Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to the lecturers and fellows friend. Okay, today I will introduce to you about our company. Our company is called Ours, and these are my members group. Me, myself, I am Nur Ilani Najwa binti Abdul Hamid, followed by my friend Arnel Kanang, co function and then Atika Deva. Umi, Shanting, Amira, Aisha, and the last one but not last, Misha. I will explain about executive summary. Ours, our Sendirian Berhad is now owned by 10% in one team of the company, which is Aisha Abdullah, Arnold Kanan, Anak Daud. Yo Shenting, No Iani Najwa Binti Abdul Hamid, Kau Pajan, No Misha Safia Binti Abdul Arif, Dewarani Anak Perempuan Subramani, No Amira Nabila Binti Zamzuri, Umi Najwa Izati Binti Kamaludin, and me Nur Atika Binti Muhammad Sakri. Our Sendirian Berhad is company that sell and imported kelby, granola, and local honeycomb. A major challenge that we face is how to gain the profit in the short time. An evolution of the company, its internal strength and weakness, and external opportunities and trade serve as the foundation for this strategy, analysis, and the marketing plan. Here, I will explain about environment analysis. Founded of a small company called Our Sendirian Berhad has involved into marketer of high quality, delicious, which is, which is halal certified. Our Sendirian Berhad main location is at Dewan Teku Tungku Mahkota Ismail DTMI. This is the strategic place, which is near to all faculty. All faculties in UKHM because our target customer is student, lecturer, staff, and all visitors in UKHM. After that, I will talk about issue and challenges for our product. The challenges will be category specific. One of the challenges that our senior brother face is packaging the food in good and high quality according in Malaysia Food Packaging Act. Second, second challenge is the how to promote the sale online in a short amount of time. This because a challenge could not know that our sale is profit one day. Okay, the organization need to keep the analysis accurate by avoiding preconceived belief or gray areas and instead focusing on real life extent. Companies should use it as a guide and not necessarily as prescription. Here are the four guides. First, strength, giving back to environment, various retail outlets, reasonable pricing, rice, risk in protein, rich in nutrient. Four weakness, difficult in founding, first venture, difficult in penetration in the market, Minimal marketing experience, for opportunities, partner with other business, expansion in UKHM, building long-term and short-term relationship with delighted consumer. Lastly, for the trade, silver competition, raw material, cost may vary, financial problem, and lastly, time management can be major issue. I will pass to the other member to explain about all the details. My name is Nara Michelle Safir Duma Arif. Now, I want to tell you guys about our company description. Our company name is Ours Enterprise. We are doing an online business, so our target customer is everyone, but mostly is among students and lecturers. The product that we sell is Honeycomb and Kalbi. Our business goal is to have a great profit margin, efficiency, and provide a good customer service and product. Okay, our, 
our mission statement is to reach the target of getting one of the top retailers in Hutesh M. For our business structure, we start from our CEO, which is Chief Executive Officer, is Nor Ilani Najwa Binti Muhammad Zakri. Then, for our COO, our Chief Operating Officer is Devarani Subramani. Our Chief Financial Officer, CFO, is Kao Fang Jun. Our Chief Data Officer, CTO, is Teo Sheng Ting and Nur Misha Safiyatul Ma'arif, which is me as an, as an assistant. Then for our Secretary, is Nurul Atika Binti Muhammad Zakri. For our CDO, our Chief Business Officer is Aisha and Umi, Umi as an assistant. And for the Chief Marketing Officer, CMO is Arnold Kana Anak Daud and Hello Doctors, my name is Teo Shen Ting and so I will continue to present about the product and service. The first one is product. Product refer to tangible product as well as service. Product decision can be made on brand name. Our brand name is ours. Functionality is about food or snacks. Product type is, is Japan Important Kaobi Granola and Local Honeycomb. And then the styling will pack in, in a simple and attractive style. The last one is packaging. Product will be packing by using clean plastic bag. We provide variety choice of sizes and types of food or snack to our customer. The Kaobi Granola which imported from Japan come, comes in different sizes which are 800 gram, 700 gram, 600 gram, 500 gram and 450 gram. Well, the local honeycomb come with 50 gram, 100 gram, 300 gram, and 700 gram. There are some examples of price decision can be made include. The first one uh, is about the Japan's top seller, Kelby Granola. Uh, this is the original classic granola, which come in two sizes, 800 gram, uh, which costs RM44, and 500 gram, with, uh, which costs 36 ringgit. And then this is Less 25% granola, uh, it's only 600 gram and then costing is 45 ringgit. And then for chocolate and banana granola, this one also come with two sizes, 700 gram and 450 gram. And then my graph forest, this is for those who don't like uh, fruits, dry fruits. Uh, this is 700 gram with price 45 ringgit. And the last one is coconut and mango granola. 450 gram, 38 ringgit. This is the limited version of uh, limited flavor of the season. And then this is about the local honeycomb. We got four sizes. The first one is 50 gram, which cost is 20 ringgit. And then 100 gram, 35 ringgit. 300 gram with 65 ringgit. And 700 gram is 110 ringgit. There are many methods of establishing prices. Below are the example of pricing methods. Cost plus pricing is pricing method whereby a stand profit a standard profit margin is added to the estimated cost of the product. It is calculated by dividing the total cost of production, fees and variable cost to a total number of units to be produced per year. Once the cost per unit is determined, the profit margin will be marked up to obtain the selling price of the product. Okay, so now let's continue with the service, uh, which is pre-sale service Q&A section. When customer having trouble to make a decision on flavor or size of the product, we'll give a rational opinion to customer by referring to their needs, such as uh, either they want to consume daily or just giving it a try. We'll make sure that fulfill the customer requirement is always the best rather than ourselves and not being hard sales to everyone. And then the second one is pre or after sales service. We do some demonstration about honeycomb. For example, we have done some demonstration by using video to guide customers. We show the correct way to eat the honeycomb to customers. The process of chewing bees wax is good for our oral cavity. The bees wax is usually being chewed and we are not encouraging to swallow it into our, uh, our stomach. This, there is a possible that it is hard to digest for those who have uh, who don't have a good digestion system. The leftover honey in the container can be also used to make an ice honey lemon tea as well. And then, a demonstration for Kelby Granola. We provide some videos relating about the perfect matching food for Kelby Granola, such as matching, matching it with a full cream milk. It's a 
most perfect way to consume it for some meal lover. For those who are diet, it is recommended to choose Kalbi granola and 25% less sugar to match with their low fat milk. Well, for those who do not like to match it with milk, they can just stack it as a healthy snack. And then the last one is after sales service. As our company provides two types of buying methods, which is cash on delivery and online sales. For online customers, we will always keep on tracking the parcel for those who buy it through online. And we will send it through a reliable courier company to make sure that customers are able to receive it successfully and in a good condition. Besides that, we will always follow up their condition, I mean, uh, customer feedbacks or comments about the product to make an improvement. Hi, my name is Arnold Kanal, another hood. My metric number is CE180007. Today, I would like to present about marketing mix strategy. A good business plan will take account the aspect of products or service to be offended, prospect and customers, benefit and advantage, areas of availability, location, advertising and promotion and competition. In this marketing mix strategy, I will mention about logo of company, target market, packaging, distribution and promotion. Firstly, I wanted to introduce our company logo. This is our company logo which is approved by all business partners and it trademarked by our company. Secondly, I want to talk about target market. Target market is the market segment which a particular good service is marketed, which include market segment and market consumer. Next is packaging. Our company produce and sell two products which is Kalbi and Honeycomb. This is our packaging and its different type of tests. Nevertheless, distribution. Distribution is about getting the product to the customer. Some of the more common distribution channels include we do online selling and cash on delivery which is COD. Lastly, we do promotion of our product. We do advertising sell promotion and promotional media promotional media we include internet market posted in instagram facebook and whatsapp that's all from me thank you hi my name is Devrani. uh good day to dr roslan and my fellow friends today i'm going to present about operational plan okay i'm going to present about operational plan the operational plan is very important factor because to consider business. And then the second one, our target is to ensure our service in best quality and satisfy our customers' need. Other than that, systematic plan is formed to run a business smoothly. Our operational objective is to ensure our operation business runs smoothly. The second objective of our business is to satisfy the customer's expectation and to fulfill their needs. Other than that, to provide them a high quality product with a timely service as well. Our third objective is to achieve the quality of our product and service needs with the established standards. The last objective of our Operational plan is to ensure our business is profitable and successful. The location of our operation for the current situation, online business, we don't require a big place or office to run our business. So we all are running our business at our homes, but sometimes we need our, our, our small places or any warehouses to keep our equipment and products. Then the operation cost also can be minimized because we can do our work from home more with more comfortably. Other than that, uh, the location is not so important because the seller is not going like home by home to sell the products or the customer is not directly contact contacted contacted with the seller through face to face. So lastly, we will uh, use a postage service for our products to distribute overall and be sent by the customers by using post Lazio. And then this is our operation process flowchart, which is the customer will place the order first. Then we will check all the details needed, 
we will prepare our materials and then we will make sure and everything is prepared we will process the product to send to them then we will post to the customers then we, like within three days or five days we will contact with the customers and check the uh, check with them are they satisfied with our products and their comments yes is management and organization plan this is our vision a happy customer with a bright future if a satisfied customer can give you a regular customer that's mean we can get a loyal customer in the future our mission is to to reach the target of getting one of the top retailers in UTHM. We just don't aim for the profit, but we aim to be the top five retailer in UTHM. And our goal objective is to attract all type of generation. Either you are children, teenager, young adult, or even all citizen. Uh, because our product is contain a healthy food and it's suit for all type of generation. And this is as you can see this is our organization structure. That is you can see our company is ours and the CEO will be me, Ilani, and the our CEO will be Diva, our CDO will be Theo and her assistant will be Michelle. And our financial will be June and our secretary will be Atika and our marketing will be Anu and her assistant will be Bella. And the last one, our CBO is Aisha and her assistant is Umi. As you can see, this is our job scope. For this is a CEO. Uh, she, she need to act as a leader to make the final decision. And for our CEO, she need to plan, organize and implement and control the overall operation. And our financial is, is responsible for uh, the financial. And the CEO, the data chief officer will be responsible in information of an asset. And our CEO, uh, they need to take the lead in making the deal decision. Uh, you can see the comparison. The CEO need to deal with deal making decision as the CEO as a book. Uh, she need to make the final decision. And the last but not least is our marketing officer. Uh, they need to promote our company to attract more customers. My name is Ka Fang Jun, and now I would like to present about the part 7 which is start out expenses and capitalization. In the part 7.1, process for chart. In the figure 1, which has start, provide purchase planning, looking for financial provision, arrange a schedule, provide operation location, selling product, record inventory and record sell, and the end. In 7.2, operation location plan. We are using online social media platform which is Facebook, Instagram or WhatsApp to promote and selling our product which is Clubby, Garnola and Honeycomb. In 7.3 product implementation cost pre-operation in the table show that the total access need to cost 1826 ringgit and 40 cent and for the total product need to cost 2590 ringgit. In 7.4 estimate cell, we have two types of product which is Clubby Ganora and Honeycomb, and we have several types in each product. For Clubby Ganora, we have Original Classic 800 gram, 25% less sugar, Choco Banana 800 gram, My Gula Fruitless, Original Classic 500 gram. Choco Banana 450 gram and Mango Coconut 450 gram and for our Honeycomb we have 50 gram until 700 gram and each type of product we expect can sell 5 unit and the price range is 36 ringgit until 110
10 ringgit. So for our total estimate, sales is 2590 ringgit. And for the total estimate product that we can sell is 55 units. In 7.5 manufacturing and service process, we have our supplier Nona Rogi and the location is at Nona Rogi HQ at Chelas Kuala Lumpur. And the product we buy from our supplier is Klabi Ganola and Honeycomb. And the expected purchase volume is 3000 ringgit. In 7.6 Technical Information Machine and Engineering Equipment for existing machine and equipment access, we have Seasel 5 ringgit 20 cent, pen 4 ringgit 20 cent, laptop 1500 and printer 200 ringgit. Required machine and equipment asset, we have box 50 ringgit, tap 10 ringgit, paper 12 ringgit, bubble wrap 30 ringgit and plastic bag 15 ringgit. In 7.7 .7 list of administration management, we have marketing expenses 875 ringgit, tow oil parking 32 ringgit, utility 25 ringgit, and shipping 100 ringgit. In 7.8 cash flow in the table show that the required assets 1826 ringgit 40 cent and marketing expenses 875 ringgit, tow oil parking 32 ringgit, and shipping 100 ringgit. And total is 2833 ringgit 40 cent. And for the cash flow and balance, which is the same with the total 2833 ringgit and 40 cent. Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Umi Najwa Izati Binti Kamaludin and I will be explaining about the financial plan. So basically, Financial plan is the task on determining of how a business will afford to achieve their goal. So throughout the business plan, we will be able to determine five main items, which is cost of project, working capital table, source of financial, forecasted financial statement, and forecasted cash flow. So for item number one, which is cost of project, so cost of project is also known as project implementation cost, PIC. And throughout the cost of project, uh, we will be able to determine four main components, which is total fixed asset, total working capital, others expenditure, and also unexpected expenditure. For the cost of project, for item number one, which is total fixed asset, as you can see, the machines and equipments, and also furniture and fittings, is zero ringgit. This is because we are just using the equipment that are already available in our home. For vehicle, which is car, is thirty ringgit. Uh, renovation and signboard is also zero ringgit, which making the total for total fixed asset is thirty ringgit. For item number two, which is total working capital, the marketing expenditure is also zero ringgit, because we are just making marketing throughout the social media throughout internet. Uh, for operational expenditure is fifty ringgit, and Administrative expenditure is 35 ringgit, making the total working capital is 85 ringgit. For item number three, other expenditure, the deposit or rent is also zero ringgit. Uh, deposit for water and electricity is 10 ringgit for the whole month, and the registration cost is zero ringgit, where it makes the tot the total for other expenditure is 10 ringgit. While for unexpected expenditure, uh, it is 5% which is six ringgit and 25 cents, making the grand total for the cost of project is 131 ringgit and 25 cents. Next, for working capital, there are three types of expenditure which is marketing expense, operational expense and administrative expense. So, as I said earlier, as I said earlier, uh, we were just doing our marketing and promotion through the social media, through the internet, so that our promotion and traveling throughout the month is zero ringgit, and making the total for marketing expense is zero ringgit. For operational expense, for raw material for the whole month is five hundred ringgit. The utilities for the whole month is zero ringgit. Rent is also zero ringgit. 
the label is thirty ringgit a month, where it makes the the total is thirty ringgit, and maintenance is zero ringgit, and making the operational expense is in total of five hundred and thirty ringgit, and last, the administrative expense. For salaries throughout the whole month is thirty five ringgit, and the utilities is also zero ringgit, making the administrative expense is thirty five ringgit, and the total for the expenditure is five hundred and sixty five ringgit. Assalamualaikum, my name is Noor Amira Namila Binti Zamzuri. Today I would like to talk about financing sources. For financing sources, we have four items, which is owner equity, debt. Account payable, debt bank loan, debt hypershare. For owner equity, which is working capital, the total is RM one hundred and fifty ringgit. For debt account payable, zero ringgit. Debt bank loan, zero ringgit. Debt hypershare, zero ringgit. So the total for financing sources is one hundred and fifty ringgit. Financing statement. For financing statement, we have C revenue. Which is six six hundred ringgit. Cost of goods sold two hundred and seventy five ringgit, and our gross profit, which is three hundred and twenty five ringgit. For selling and administrative expense, administrative RM fifty five ringgit. Marketing zero ringgit. Others twenty ringgit. Our interest twelve ringgit, and our description thirty three ringgit. So the total is one hundred and twenty ringgit. For our net profit is two hundred and five. This is our cash flow, which is asset that has current asset and fixed asset. For the current asset, we have finished inventory, which is RM two hundred, cash five hundred and thirty ringgit. So the total is seven hundred and thirty ringgit for current asset. For fit asset, machine machine equipment and others zero ringgit. Accumulated restriction zero ringgit. Book value or machinery zero ringgit. Accumulated restriction zero ringgit. Book value for car zero ringgit. So the total for fit asset is zero ringgit. The total of asset is seven hundred and thirty ringgit. Liability, current liability is zero. Is is liability, current liability for the current liability which is account payable zero ringgit, total liability which is bank loan zero ringgit, hypershare zero ringgit. So the total for liability is zero ringgit. Owner equity, which is beginning capital. RM five hundred ringgit, and our net profit two hundred and five ringgit. So the heading capital is seven hundred and five ringgit. So the total of of liability and equity is seven hundred and five ringgit. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Aisha Pua Yusin. Today I want to discuss about the conclusion of our project and also how we did the minute of meeting. For the conclusion, I would like to conclude that for our project it was quite successful and we did get the uh, what we expected quite well. For our purpose, it was to get some good feedback for our customers and also get some benefits for our business and also for the company. We did quite well, and also we wanted to raise the our our business, like get some high or some close for our business. We we did well, and for the for the minute of meeting, I want to talk is we had a minute of meeting on Google Meet around 10:40 a.m. and it was on 11th June. We had a minute of meeting on 11th June. We discussed about how to do the. The report and also we discuss how to divide the work among us. Each one of us will take a part and do each one of us. If anything, we can ask each other. That's all. Thank you.